Hi everyone, I want to just uh, apologize for not posting any videos for the past couple of days in the last week and also not posting one today on time at least and I'm gonna try and record an FTB unstable video <clears throat> and see how it goes but I'm currently struggling with being slightly overwhelmed with too many things that I'm playing so I'm gonna cull the list down and I think I want to play with FTB unstable and C block rustic waters that is kind of what I'm feeling right now and I want to change up the streaming schedule. I know I just changed it up uh, last week or something, but I really am not happy streaming early in the morning. Uh, and I also want to stream on Twitch because the YouTube platform, even though people get notifications right off the, right off the bat, it's really bad. Uh, and I can't even get a proper chat lookup. I can't even see all the things. Like the Twitch dashboard is just so, so, so much better. And I just want to stream there, so there's a link in the description, twitch.tv slash Breaker. You're going to check me out over there. You are. I'm looking at you. Just just you. You over there. Yeah. Okay. Go check it out. I'm just messing. All right. So let's begin today's episode. So I have been playing a little bit in between episodes, and I've uh, gotten a few things that uh, we can check out. First of all, uh, these saplings are really amazing from Ferris Tree, and if we look at the mod specifically ferrous tree you can see that there's a whole different types of saplings you have diamond lapis redstone emerald and basically all of the basic resources even silver lead copper tin bismuth uh, all those good aluminum as well all those good things and what these guys do with the ring of growth it's super op uh, we just wait a little bit and then we get a humongous tree uh, and once we can make our way to the middle uh, we can take our handy dandy lumber axe and just chop everything down and everything gets instantly teleported into our inventory then we take a stone sickle and we can just uh, remove a lot of the leaves here uh, the stone or the magnet is really loud but it is a really cool magnet uh, it is this guy the dislocation ring which is made with some lapis some gold some eye vendor and a magnetic ring which i think is uh it, this guy attracts items with an 8 block radius, and then this guy does a 16 block radius, and it instantly collects dropped items. So if I try and drop a piece of gold, it goes directly into my inventory. One thing that I would probably, and I will check in the mod uh, config, if I can disable the sound, because it's kind of annoying <laughs> to have that Enderman teleporty sound every time. But uh, what I've done here, uh, we have a blast furnace, which can cook up the logs that we get from the saplings, into ingots so we're getting iron we're getting coal we're get, we got a whole bunch of gold in here we have 45 blocks of it uh, which is really neat and also the next thing that we're going to check out is this diamond divining rod uh, let me just toss a little bit of this in there i'm using a bunch of lava buckets to fuel the furnace for now uh, we're going to make a couple more of these furnaces and maybe get an automated system of uh just producing possibly coal. I think all of the chopping that we are going to do is going to have to be manual because I don't think there is anything right now that can chop trees unless there's something in plant tech, plant tech, unless there's one of these machines that can do it, but I'm not really, really sure. Uh, so this diamond divining rod, it works exactly as any other divining rod. It is going to help us find diamonds down here. And the thing about uh, the saplings from Ferris Tree, there are two crafting recipes for each saplings. You can use eight bits of ore, or you can use four blocks of the entire item. And getting this many diamonds is gonna take a while, but getting Silk Touch, uh, I don't know if we have any sort of way to enchant it other than just trying to get an enchanting table and trying to get Silk Touch with 30 levels. Uh, we could make this slime egg pickaxe, which requires a golden feather, which is not a problem. I think we, yeah, we, I looked at it and we d it didn't have the prismarine. So for that, we would need the prismarine seed or something, and it would be just a whole complicated thing. So what I think I'll just do is I'll go around with this diamond divining rod and see if I can find uh, some diamonds over here. Uh, hopefully get enough for four blocks, because I think I can't get silk touch just right now. Uh, and that is just going to make my life easier. And then we can make the diamond sampling and we're going to get just an insane amount of diamonds. I got all the diamonds that we need. So we're going to just craft four blocks directly. And then we're going to take a regular old sapling and make a diamond sapling. And then we're going to grab our regular bag here where I have my ring of growth. And we're going to also grab our lumber axe. 
and a stack of cobblestone if I have it somewhere. I also made uh, an upgraded version of the furnace, which is the gold furnace, uh, and this one magically doubles your output. So you toss in one cobblestone and you get two pieces of stone out, which is really nice uh, way to get smooth stone because if you take, for example, uh, let's just grab all of this stone out here, just so we can just so we can toss it in here. So we grab on combo, we toss it in here, get two regular stone, right? And then you toss the two regular stone in here, and you get two smooth stone. So one cobble turns into four building blocks, essentially, which is really nice because one stack turns into four different types of stacks, which is really cool. So let's go check out this diamond sapling. To begin with here, we're just going to plant the single one, grab a ring of growth, and just uh, give it a second, and it should grow any moment now. There we go. We get a small little diamond tree, and we can just chop this whole guy up, and then we can sickle this to get more saplings out of this. And we got a total of three. Can we get another one from this? Well, didn't happen. All right, so let's just uh, plant all three of them, hold a ring of growth, until we can get four saplings. Then we can make a huge tree, and then with the huge tree, you can just get an insane amount of logs in virtually no time at all. Uh, okay, so that should be more than four saplings. Wonderful. And we're going to do that. In the meantime, I'm going to nom on some steak. Also, we can we no longer need this diamond divining rod in our offhand because it doesn't uh, serve any purpose now because we have infinite diamonds anyway. All right, so let's grab our lumber axe. Chop this guy down. And this essentially means that we have a stack and something something diamonds because each log turns into a diamond. So that is just the most amazing thing. Uh, all of those leaves, we can actually grab our saplings here, put them in another spot. All of those leaves will decay and despawn eventually. And I'm just gonna do this for a little bit and then I'm gonna toss everything to be smelted so we can actually get a bunch of resources. There is a couple more saplings that we can make with the resources that we have, and that is the silver sapling, because I have enough ore. We can make the lapis sapling for lapis, and then also the redstone sapling for redstone. The only sad part about the lapis and the redstone sapling is that the wood... Uh, baba, where are you? Lapis... Stripped lapis works as well. Uh, that only makes one lapis, so you would have to get nine stacks of logs to get a block... or, or to get a stack of blocks of lapis, which is kind of a lot but uh, for example diamonds when you turn nine of those each one gives you one per log anyway but redstone you just normally need more of it than you'd need diamonds so uh, getting it at a slower rate is just uh, <clears throat> abnormal i should say okay i'm just gonna record that again also, I'm sorry if the in-game sounds were, were very low right now but uh, i had a thingy in obs turned down which made it weird. Well, anyway, so uh, I made a redstone sapling, a lapis sapling, and a silver sapling, and I'm gonna multiply those and get a bunch of logs in between cuts here or in between episodes. We don't need them as of right now. We have uh, plenty of uh, redstone over here and a bit of lapis. We're gonna need probably some more, but over here the coal has been producing and smelting, and we can reuse the coal for fuel if we need to. Also, if you look at the use on a coal log, to turn into coal, there's also an electric furnace from Silence Mechanism. So we need some redstone alloy ingots for that, which is going to require an alloy smelter. And for that, it's going to require a basic alloy smelter, which is going to be some iron, some smooth stone, some glass, which we can get here. Glass. I have smooth stone somewhere. There we go. We don't need basalt or the slate. Uh, some iron. We're going to need some copper. Uh, I think it was some tin, and I think that should be it, and possibly we need redstone eventually. Let's grab a couple blocks of that as well. There we go. Okay, so basic alloy smelter. We need one of you, and then one of you, which requires some bricks. I think I have some of those. Let's just grab all of this, and I need two total. Is that going to be everything? Lovely. Do you require power is my question. You do. We have a please break and keep. Wonderful. So this has uh, power. Do you transmit power directly to this? New. No. So do we have 
Uh, do we have any sort of power cable? Torch charm, torch to darkness, energy cable, redstone, and stone brick stairs. Okay, so stone. Bricks, and then some stairs. And then energy cable. It says RF energy power transfer cable. I assume this is... Well, and it... Okay, sure. I, uh, I hope this keeps its power. Oh, it doesn't even drop. Okay, sure. So what we're going to do, <laughs> since nothing is dropping, we're just going to take this and put the solar panel directly on top. Uh, and then we possibly need to make it daytime. Yay, we're getting power. Cool. <laughs> it only holds 10,000 FE, but that's fine. So the uh, ba -ba 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 alloy smelter. I just need to find this redstone alloy. That's iron dust and redstone. Okay, so I need to do a bit of uh, iron ore. Or it could be iron ingots. And I put the weight the grinder because I thought I didn't need it. Uh, okay, so that plus that. And a little jumpy things will get us iron ore bits. Eight iron dust should hopefully... Oh, it's keeping up. That's wonderful. So that should convert into some redstone alloy ingots. It's going to take four redstone and one iron and it's going to make two. Wonderful. That's also a part uh, to make uh, tools. And it's a tier two part. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of all of that. And we're going to use that to make the better, I believe, alloy smelter. No, we're, we're using it to make the electric furnace. Furnace. Electric furnace. Where are you? You're a small laboratory furnace? Oh, it's on the bottom. Okay. So two of those, three redstone, one gold ingot. We're going to need some iron nuggets, some gold, and some of these. Okay, we have four, which I think should be enough. Let's grab some iron nuggets, some gold bits. Do we have any more gold bits in here? No, let's grab some blocks then, like so. And we should be able to make this if I make a circuit and then we can just make the electric furnace. Nice. Uh, I wish the cables would connect to what we're trying to connect to. I wonder if they connect directly to the solar panel on the bottom, they do not. What if I place the solar panel on top once the cable has been placed? No. Okay, so I need some sort of power storage for us to get an electric furnace up and running. But this does store power. Let's try and grab a stack of uh, these diamond logs and see how this is going to work. So we toss them in here. Oh, that's super fast. That is fast. Is it faster than the solar panel? I think no. No, no, no. The solar panel is keeping up. Ooh, so we could just have a bunch of these small solar panels because they, they don't cost that much. There's three nether quartz, a block of redstone and iron ingots, and they produce quite a bit of power. We can just get a bunch of those, get some sort of power cable that works, and we can use that for power and then transfer it to these electric furnaces and just uh, they have upgrades too. Hold on. Electric furnace. You're from what? You're from silence mechanisms at silent... Is that going to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the upgrade. So you have a processing upgrade for 50% processing speed and more energy. Reduces energy usage per tick. We have energy storage. 10% chance of secondary output. 25% chance used. Range upgrade. No, not really what we need. And these are just plastic sheets, which are... Oh, God. Okay, polyethylene. How does one get... That's dark... Oh, okay, that's a whole, whole thing. You need oil to get to diesel to get to... Okay, that's a whole process. All right, uh, so that's not going to happen very soon. Uh, okay, but this does work. It stores more power. It's really fast on the processing speed, and it's really nice. Okay, I'm going to try and see if I can make more of those solar panels. We're going to need more nether quartz, which actually... Speaking of nether quartz, you know, we can take that. We can take a sapling. Any sort of sapling I think works. I hope. There we go. Quartz sapling. Uh, we need to produce a bit of that so we can get some more electric furnaces going, so we can get more solar panels going. Uh, and that should get us a whole bunch of power. 
All right, it's time to try and see if we can store some power. This is a battery box from Silence Mechanism. It's very easy to make. You just need one of these circuit boards and some redstone alloy and a battery, which is another redstone alloy. And I don't know if this recipe up top is cheaper because you need the alloy. No, nah, it's not cheaper. It's just kind of the same. All right, sleepy time again. And let us conduct a test. We're gonna put you here. And then we're gonna put, I put these on top of the wire and it doesn't really transfer the power, but I don't know if, um, well, this works. It's transferring the power inside of the battery box. I can place probably this guy on top as well. And that'll do too. Okay, so do I have any sort of thing, uh, like any sort of like cable that can transfer blue electric cable that's from blue power? Like this energy cable from Cyclic didn't do nothing because it didn't connect to the solar panels. I don't know. This says control shift help you useful for charging all F capacitors in remote systems, low consumption. Okay. Production depends on daytime and weather. Yeah. So let's do at engineer. We have uh, there's small minting furnace, incinerator, factory dropper. You said you had like factory hopper for advanced factory automation. Interesting. Is there a capacitor? Capacitor. There is an RF collector from Biotechnic, which I don't know what it does. There's an energy capacity upgrade. There's capacity upgrades from Plant Tech. There's capacitors from Iron Jetpacks. Interesting. Um, bank? No. Storage. There is a, an energy storage from Plant Tech, which I cannot craft because it doesn't have a recipe. Uh, okay, uh, so that's not gonna work. So I don't really know how the easiest way of transferring power from these solar panels to a battery box would be because these Plant Tech cables do not connect. And, or sorry, Plant Tech, these uh, wires from Silence doesn't, don't connect to these small solar panels unless I put them like this. And I don't know if that works. Uh, I think actually there's a, isn't there like a wrench from silence mechanisms? There is a wrench. Okay, let's make that. This is gonna be our wrench. And let's see, cause these I believe can be configured or like the sides can be configured, I think. Yeah, you can do input, output and different things. Okay, can I? then hook you up to like this guy. Can I just break this and then it's okay, then it's gonna lose the connection. But if I put you here, no. Um, okay, let me play around with this a little bit and see what I can come up with. Alright, so this seems to be working even though it's not visually connecting, but the cable has a few different connections. So if we put another solar panel like this, you, we should see an increase in power gen. Yeah. So if we have it on this, this is input, this is output. And then here we we don't really have the ability to do anything else, but this is, I believe on in and out, I would assume that's what the case is. So what if we uh, just grab ourselves, uh, since we have how much we have 12 wire, we can do a three by four. I think I have 12 of these solar panels too. So we can just do something like this. Don't know what the max speed or maximum amount of power that we can transfer on these uh, wires or the battery box, but this is doing a thing and it is faster. Okay, so wire. Oh, no, that, that wire. Uh, what required to make this copper and redstone alloy? Or I think, but it was a refined iron. Yeah, okay, we can get some refined iron. So let's get uh, a little bit of uh, these going. So we can get a stack of this in here. Then we can grab ourselves the redstone alloy. We're gonna wait for three of these ingots to smelt, which are right now. And then we can grab this and this, grab ourselves a bit of wire. And then we're gonna just grab these solar panels off of this. We're gonna put you next to here. And we're gonna say, are you gonna charge it up or keep it charged? Okay, let's see if we grab some of these guys. And we toss them in here. Is this gonna keep charged? It is. Ooh, we have power gen. We have a proper uh, power system. That is just solar panels and a single battery box, which is probably not gonna last the night because that's half a million FE. 
All right, uh, we have power. Uh, we have a neat thing that we can make. So in between episodes, I am gonna pretty much dig out a giant area down here uh, before we end the episode, actually. Uh, I wanna mention I upgraded these crates to diamond crates now that we have an insane amount of diamonds due to our having a bunch of diamond logs and just uh, that is the thing. Okay, so I'm gonna end the episode off here. Uh, we're gonna come back next episode. I'm gonna probably dig, or I am gonna dig, in between episodes, a giant room here so we can set up Possibly on top of this, we can set up some solar panels. I actually might just dig up here as well and raise this floor up and put solar panels like in a giant square up here on top of this hill, maybe even tear down the hill a little bit, just so we can have uh, a lot of these going uh, on top. And uh, then we're gonna just run some power down the middle somewhere or down the side and have uh, a bunch of machines on the side and a bunch of battery boxes possibly. Uh, which is going to store a lot of power, which I think should be pretty cool. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I am glad that you're patient with me and uh, me deciding what I want to play and what I want to do. And I really, really, really appreciate all of the support that you've been giving me over on Patreon, over on the live streams and all that. And just to remind remind you guys, twitch.tv slash Breaker, the schedule I am going to put together and post it in a post on YouTube or something. Uh, and I will try out a few things during the week and see if it works for me, if it doesn't, and so forth with the streaming schedule. But with that, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. You can also subscribe to see new videos. You can also support me on Patreon as well if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.